Two students are currently banned from Buffalo Prairie Middle School after investigators say they threatened to bring a gun to school. Well, district leaders say they're taking the threats very seriously. They add this is the first incident like this they've seen this year. Lauren Schwinker joins us live with a look at what parents are saying about the response. Lauren. Paul, the Buffalo Police Department posted this to its Facebook page early this morning, alerting the community about the threats. And PD says, luckily, no guns made their way into the school, and parents say they're grateful for the extra response and staff that were there this morning for drop-off. It's always nerve-wracking. You always wonder if you should, like, send your kids to school or if you should keep them home. Lacey Holland is one of many parents uneasy about sending their child to school Wednesday morning. It comes after investigators say two students made separate gun threats to Buffalo Prairie Middle School. You think you're immune in a small town where you know everybody, and um, but unfortunately, I think nobody's safe now. The Dallas County Sheriff's Office says it was made aware of the two threats Tuesday night. I personally visited with both kids, guardians, ensured that they would not appear on school grounds. I had an extra deputy at the middle school this morning. Sheriff Scott Rice says one threat came in while class was in session. The other, after the school day ended. As far as future charges, Rice says many are possible. There's several different avenues they could be charged with juvenile uh, terroristic threats or, or something like that. I mean, that that would just be through the juvenile office on what, how they're going to handle that. Parents and students I spoke to say they were happy to see more law enforcement on the middle school's campus today during morning drop-off and that it made them feel more safe. It makes parents feel safe as well, knowing that they're taking any threats seriously and that um, they're here to watch over our kids and make sure that they're going to school safe. The Dallas County Superintendent tells us the district and law enforcement always take threats like these extremely seriously. Moving forward, Holland wants the district to notify parents before pickup. She says her child was already on the bus when she got the email from the district. But at the end of the day, she says she trusts them. I trust our administration and our police department that they had it handled and knew what they were doing and would keep our kids safe. Now, in Missouri, you can report a threat if you hear one anonymously via text or phone call. You just go to Courage to report.com Missouri and we will also have this linked in this article on ky3.com it will be up here very shortly reporting live at the alert desk I'm Lauren Schwenker back to you